Hello everyone, my name is Anton Scarvelas and uh, I'm the creator of the multi-edit add-on for Blender 3D. Uh, I already have a tutorial but uh, a fellow Blender user decided to update and uh, add a very useful feature to the add-on and I also fixed a couple of bugs so it's a good time for a second tutorial this add-on allows you to edit multiple objects together without uh, losing all their data shape keys, uh, modifiers, constraints, etc. etc. First things first we need to install the add-on so you go to file user preferences and I do hope you already know that add-ons tab and uh, install from file you've probably downloaded a zip file so you just go to where you've downloaded it so here is the zip file or the .py file uh, you search for multi-edit and uh, in case you have multiple uh, add-ons installed you want a want the one zero version where it's going to have uh, two authors in the uh, author section so you just enable it and if you want you can save user uh, user settings you close it and uh, let's see multi-edit enter and multi-edit exit and the preserve location rotation scale were already there and we also have that those cute icons what's new and I'm going to show what was also there first of all let's make a couple of objects let's make a UV sphere and uh, what else do you want we can uh, parent that to this we can uh, add here an array modifier we can uh, add a constraint whatever let's uh, add uh, oh this already has a material let's add different material here a yellow one or green whatever that is let's make this blue and uh, make this uh, bluish I'm not sure all those cool stuff and uh, what happens if you want to edit all of these together now what, what was already in the add-on you could just select Let's select those three. You could select those three, hit multi edit enter, and then you could uh, do some stuff, edit them together. Maybe you want uh, that vertex to nearly touch this one or whatever, so you need to uh, edit them together I'm sure you have a lot of uh, reasons and uh, then you could just hit multi-edit exit and uh, as you can see this object has changed but has retained its material the modifier this object has retained its material and the uh, it's parented like it was before everything is as it should be now what has changed since then is that if you click on multi-edit mode start and then have this enabled you can disable it whenever you want but let's leave it enabled you can simply select multiple objects and then when you enter edit mode 
it automatically enters the multi-edit status if you want and uh, that's a very natural way to edit those objects however you want to you know and when you're done you simply exit the edit mode and everything is as it should be the objects have uh, retained their modifiers, their constraints, their materials pretty much whatever I could think of that you would want of course if you find that a little detail is not retained you can always uh, suggest uh, the idea so uh, maybe I can figure it out and add it in the future but so far this is a very good way to work with multiple objects if you want to do some precision modeling or if you want to maybe uh, I've heard of people scalping them together all sorts of stuff thanks again to uh, Dimitris the contributor of the uh, of the new feature for his effort and uh, I really hope you find it useful and make uh, great stuff with it if you have any problems you can just check the Blender Artists thread and uh, add uh, your ideas bye